CES MMA 34 is going to be taking place on April the 1st at the Foxwoods Casinos up in Connecticut. And, of course, this is an event that can be aired live on Access TV. We're joined by one of the men that's going to be on the card as he looks for his third win of his career and remain undefeated. Carlos Candelario is going to be taking on Louie Ascar. Carlos, I appreciate the time. First off, i got to ask you, I look everywhere online. It has your nickname as the Dragon, but uh, when we set up this... Uh, this interview, I was. Uh, it was said to me that your nickname's the Cannon. So which one is it? Yeah, it's actually the Cannon. Is that it, you know what's crazy? Like my name, I, my last name is like rare. I feel, and then supposedly there's a guy in Massachusetts that's a pro boxer with the same name and everything. <laughs> that, that is that is crazy. But but first off, obviously preparations here for your third pro fight. How has preparations been going? It's it's been going really good. Um, I, I train pretty much every day, two or three times a day. Um, I had a I had a fight a couple of weeks ago, and that got canceled. So I was pretty much always um, getting prepared and ready for the fight. It just got canceled. So everything's going good now. No injuries, no nothing. Just training hard, waiting for the fight night. You know, just um, very anxious. I, I wanted to fight a couple of weeks ago, so I'm really focused and looking forward to this one. The transition uh, from wrestler to mixed martial artist was that a natural tradition for you, or was it uh, was there a, it, was there a different reason why you become an MMA fighter? Um, no, I, just, I did boxing and stuff like that, and wrestling. It's just I was um like that with mixed martial arts. You could always, if something's not working, you could always switch it up, or you could have a lot of um tools to your game so I was always interested in that and just every time I train I always see other guys like um going to the ground and kicking and I was always just fascinated by how good like you, you could be a fighter and a striker and all that and I know one of your, your training partners a guy that you had the opportunity to work with Matt Bissett what are some of the things that you you've taken from Matt that have helped to make you a a better fighter in and out of the cage really really just um He's helping me a lot just to, you know, just become a fighter. Like, I'm, I was always, before, never really um, believing in myself. And he's just really been helping me out every, pretty much every day, just a lot with my sparring and um, my training and, and stuff. I, I really appreciate the guy. He's, he's really showing me a lot of things I should know about the MMA game. In terms of, you know, maybe having, you know, trouble believing yourself, is that something that you've had throughout uh, your competitive, you know, whether it's going back to school or now? I mean, or is it something that in MMA it kind of came about? Well, I just, before, I, I just always, because I was always the littler guy, like, um, when I was younger, I was always just always tiny, and people always used to um, underestimate me, so, I don't know, I just... I always had that, um, like that feeling, but I always knew I was tough in a way. So now it's just like winning fights and having the right people around you is, it really gives you the belief that, you know, you need to go far in the sport. And of course, uh, second fight, uh, for CES, uh, the last one ba being back in October, a, a decision winner over Jesse Gutierrez. Now this fight against Louis Ascar. First off, what, what, what do you think of your opponent? Both you are undefeated in your young careers, but overall, what, what do you see as some of the, the big strengths that he's going to bring on fight night? Well, I actually, um, went to the, the last CES card that he fought in and I was watching him fight and. I, I just seen that he actually likes to stand, so and I like to stand too. So, uh, and I like the style. So I was really um, looking forward to wanting to fight him. I asked him, my manager and stuff that I wanted to fight him, just because I'm I'm looking for the right tough fights, people that actually like to fight. So I'm just I'm just ready to wherever he wants to bring it. I'm gonna be ready, just anywhere he wants to go, just. He's gonna he's gonna have to be ready for anywhere. You know, there's there's obviously goals you have long term, but also short term goals are, are the fight that that is coming up. Obviously, the the main goal is to get the win. Is there any other goals that you have with this fight? Um, I, I really want to um, finish. If you see a lot of just 
even in my boxing and kickboxing, like I had a lot of finishes in my MMA career. So I'm, I'm just really looking to just um, leave a statement to show people why I deserve to be, you know, on live access TV. And this is from my last fight. People saw that, you know, I actually fight. So my goal is just to um, just um, branch out more, actually get more recognition. Because I always just felt like I never had um, enough, the, the the right push or enough love, you know, before fights. So I just want to get known. In terms of the finish, is there is there a preference at all of whether you win by knockout or or submission? I mean, is there one that uh, you know some guys say, you know what, I, I I like this, you know, I prefer a submission because that's you you literally you're having the guy quit. You know, he's saying, okay, I'm done. Whereas opposed to if you know it's a TKO or KO, typically the referee is pulling you off the fighter. So is, is there a preference? Um, I had a I had like a couple of TKOs and um my past fights, but I I really like the. I never had a feeling like I had when I get TKOs. It's just so unexplainable, you know. But I, I really, I really am looking for a TKO or what? Anything, anything that shows up, I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm gonna look for the finish. And of course, this fight a part of CES MMA 34 on April the first. Access TV uh, at from the Foxwood Casino. So if you're not at the Foxwood Casino on April first, you can watch this event uh, live on Access TV. When it comes to your your life outside of, of fighting, what are, what are some of the things you like to do? Well, really, I just I, I work at um, Avon's um, Old Farm Hotel, so I just uh, a server there and. I like, I just pretty much all I do is just work out. That's why I feel me and Matt said get along because me and him are pretty much known as like the hardest worker. So I just, I don't really have any hobbies like that. You know, I just like to play video games and just work out and watch videos of MMA and fighting. I'm just uh, obsessed with this sport really at the moment. And, of course, you'll see Carl's fight here on Access TV. Carl's, I appreciate the time. Anywhere my listeners can follow you at on social media? Um, you can follow me um, at Carlos Canvario at Facebook. And then uh, Instagram is Cocoloso04. If you could look me up, it would be great. I'll post a lot of my training videos, all that information. If you want to become a fan of mine. Carlos, appreciate time. Good luck in the fight, man. All right. Thank you, man. Thank you for the opportunity.